So finally I did it and I get a little bit better results like I expected. So guys, what I have over here is some zinc chlorine battery. So on this type of zinc chlorine battery, I already make some video. Uh, the title of the video is 2 volt zinc chlorine battery and the link to this video will be also in the video description. Um, so like I said, here I have my new zinc chlorine battery and actually what is the difference between this zinc chlorine battery and the zinc chlorine battery from my previous video is that this one uses some nitrogen doped activated carbon powder so here i make my homemade nitrogen doped activated carbon so actually i end up with 2.5 grams of the carbon uh, and I already use one gram of the carbon in this cell. So everything else uh, is the same like on the battery from my previous video. So the current collector, I mean the positive current collector is made from graphite plate. Uh, then for the negative electrode I use some zinc. Uh, here I also use some uh, just normal uh, separator. Uh, the electrolyte is 30 mole of choline chloride uh, so to make this kind of electrolytes I use 42.7 uh, of choline chloride uh, mix it together with 10 grams of water and then the entire mix I heat up to 60 degrees C and then I end up with this solution so this electrolyte is now sitting for a couple of days now and the evaporation rate of this electrolyte is almost zero and for the last the active material for the positive side of the cell so here like i said before here i use one gram of homemade nitrogen doped activated carbon powder which is this one and in my previous battery i use some non uh, nitrogen doped activated carbon felt like this one so uh in my previous battery i used one gram of this activated carbon felt uh, which have the surface area of around 1800 square meters per gram and i get the capacity around uh, 49 milliamp hours per gram i think um, and this one uses this activated carbon powder one gram of activated carbon powder which have the surface area of around 1400 square meters per gram so the process of making this nitrogen doped activated carbon powder and also uh, this battery is based on this research paper so if you have some interest to this zinc chlorine battery, then I recommend to read this research paper. Because in this research paper, you will get all the necessary informations about how to prepare the electrolyte, for example, uh, how to prepare nitrogen doped activated carbon and so on. Uh, so the same process, which is uh, described over here, I also use uh, to make my homemade nitrogen doped activated carbon powder. So I make some mix of urea and activated carbon powder in the ratio 10 to 1. Then for the temperature I use 800 degrees C for 5 hours. And the heating speed was around 5 to 6 uh, degrees C per minute. The only thing that I was not able to do was to make the entire process in some non-oxygen environment. So here uh, they use some argon gas, uh, but in my case, instead of argon gas, I filled the entire container with some extra sacrificial activated carbon powder. So this extra activated carbon powder will reduce the oxidation of my carbon. Uh, and now I will show you what was the discharge curve of this battery so uh, 
like we see over here in the paper, the battery have the capacity of 112.8 milliamp hours per gram, and my test battery have the capacity of 107 milliamps per gram. And here you can see also this discharge curve. So I also make some upgrades to this battery to get a little bit better capacity, but this video will be available only on the members and on my Patreon. First I will prepare this carbon array mix and actually I will use around 5 grams of the carbon. Okay, this will be good. And now the rail. So because the ratio is 10 to 1, for this reason I need 50 grams of rail. Great. So, 10 to 1 mix of urea and the carbon. Okay. Okay, this will be okay. And now this material I will put into this stainless steel container. And now on the top I will put this lid. So this lid has also some uh, little hole. Uh, this hole is for reducing the pressure which can be built into this container. And then this container I will put in another container, like this one. Like so. And now this container I will fill up with some extra activated carbon powder. And now this I will put into my kiln. <clears throat> okay, right now the kiln is set to 800 degrees C for 5 hours and the rising temperature, I mean uh, the speed of the temperature is around 5 to 6 degrees C per minute. And after 24 hours Really nice.
So guys, that's it about this Zinc Corin battery and we see us in the next video. Bye.